a very very simple problem from pair of straight line and the problem is so that four straight lines represented by the equation 6x square minus 5xy minus 6y square equal to 0 and the second equation is like this but here the extra term is 5 plus 5 sorry x plus 5y this is equal to 1 forms the side of a square and we have to find the equation of the diagonal. So we have to show four straight line represented by two pair. Here we write the first pair is 6x square minus 5xy minus 6y square. This is equal to 0. And this is the first pair. And the second pair is 6x square minus 5xy minus 6y square plus x plus 5y. This is equal to 1. This is the second pair. Now we first find two equations of the first pair by factorizing this second degree equation. And it is clear that 6x square minus this is 9xy plus 4xy minus 6y square this is equal to 0. So this is 3x into 2x minus 2x minus 3y plus 2y into 2x minus 3y and this gives 2x minus 3y into 3x plus 2y so two line from 1 are given by 2x minus 3y this is equal to 0 this is number 3 and 3x plus 2y this is equal to 0 this is number 4 okay and now from this to this equation we get another two equation and this is given by we already factorize this term so here we write the factorization 2x minus 3y into 3x plus 2y plus this can be written as 3x plus 2y minus this is 2x minus 3y this is equal to 1 because by calculating this two term we get the result this okay and now taking common from first and second we get 3x plus 2y into 2x minus 3y plus 1 and minus 1 into 2x minus 3y minus 1 this is equal to zero okay sorry this is not minus this is plus because if we changing the side of one this is equal to minus one so this is plus and factorizing we get 2x minus 3y plus one this is equal to zero this is the first line name as relation number five and 3x plus 2y 2y minus one this is equal to zero this is the second line okay and clearly from 3 and 4 these two straight lines are perpendicular because if we if we find out the slope of the first line this is equal to 2 by 3 and this is equal to minus 3 by 2 so multiplying these two slope we get these two are perpendicular and also passes through the origin so two equation are looks like this this is this is relation number let this is relation number 3 and this is relation number 4 and this is origin this is 0 0 this is the point of intersection of 3 and 4 okay now we get in relation number 5 this is 2x minus 3y plus 1 and clearly this is parallel to 3 and so the equation of type is this is relation number 5 and this is obviously relation number 6 this is obviously this because because 3x plus 2y minus 1 this is parallel to 4 and this is 6 okay now we have to show first this is a square how to show square we find the perpendicular distance between 4 and 6 and perpendicular distance between and 3. Then we get two sides. If two sides are equal, 
then it must be a square because we already proved this is perpendicular and this is perpendicular, this is perpendicular, this is perpendicular. Okay. And now we find the parallel distance or perpendicular distance. Sorry, four and six. What is four? This is four and this is six. So perpendicular distance, perpendicular distance of four and six, six is given by is given by equal to. What is the formula of perpendicular distance? This is mod of c1 minus c2 by root under a square plus b square. And clearly c1 is minus 1 and c2 is 0 because it is 0 and by root under 3 square plus 2 square. So 1 by root 30. Okay. Now perpendicular distance of 3 and 5, 3 and 5 is equal to mod of, here C1 is 1 and C2 is 0, minus 0 by root under 2 square plus 3 square, okay, and obviously this is also 1 by root 30. So these two distance both are 1 by root 13 and 1 by root 13. Okay, so it must be a square. So it must be must be a square. Because both sides are equal and one angle or at, we say all the angular perpendicular, all the angular 90 degree. Okay, so we prove it is a square. Now we have to find a, the equation of its diagonal. We easily find the equation of one diagonal which is passes through, which is not passes through the origin. That is, this diagonal can be easily find out from relation number one and two. By how to find relation number from relation number one and two? We get the equation of the diagonal not passes through the origin by 2 minus 1 ok and this is given by clearly this is given by x plus 5y minus 1 this is equal to 0 by 2 minus 1 if we write 2 minus 1 then the term left 5y minus 1 this is equal to 0 so this is the diagonal ok and this is not passes through the origin because the constant is present here now to find the another diagonal, we have to find the equation of the perpendicular line of this because we know that for any square two diagonals are perpendicular okay and we get the perpendicular line of this is given by 5x minus y plus c this is equal to 0 okay now this diagonal must passes through the origin and since it passes through the origin, so we get C, this is equal to 0. So other diagonal is 5x minus y, this is equal to 0. Okay. So two diagonals are x plus 5y minus 1 equal to 0. And the other diagonals are 5x minus y equal to 0. And we prove this is the square.